Good afternoon YouTube. Today is August 19, 2018. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up multi-factor authentication using text messaging for your Coinbase account. So, before I jump in, I do want to say that I'm not a financial professional or advisor, so don't take the uh, contents of this video as such. Uh, and I also want to mention you will need a Coinbase account to follow along. Uh, and before I move forward around uh, instructing you on how to set up multi-factor authentication I want to quickly explain what it looks like for you the end user so today if you don't have multi-factor authentication set up what that means is all you need is a password your password and your username to log in and access your funds and that can be uh, a risk because if somebody ever got a hold of your username and password they can log in and um, take your funds so when you set up multi-factor authentication using text message what that does is in addition to requiring you to enter your password coinbase will start sending you um, temporary uh, pin numbers via text message each whenever you log in and so when you do that when you try to log in you'll have to enter that temporary pin number in addition to the password so that makes it uh, even more difficult for somebody to hack you because now not only does somebody need um, your password but they would need access to your text messages and the phone that you are receiving these uh, temporary pin numbers at so that's the value proposition for you as a user so with that said let's just jump straight into it the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure you log into coinbase.com It'll be brought to your dashboard and the second thing you do is you click on settings and so um, you, you won't see anything that says uh, or mentions multi-factor authentication but if you read this area here change password there's a subtext it says enable two-factor authentication on the security page so two-factor authentication that's a t the type of multi-factor authentication we want to go for so click on the link that says the security page and it will bring you here so you see that I already have a phone number added here, which is great, but um, you won't see anything here. So what you'll need to do is in this section, which I can't show you, but in this section you'll have an option to add a phone number. So go ahead and add your phone number there. And after you add your phone number, you'll have to basically say verify your phone number. And um, to verify your phone number, you have to have them send you a message. So you, when you click on verify a phone, as soon as you click on that, you'll get a text message with a temporary PIN number, which I have, which I just, just now received when I clicked on that button. And so um, you would punch in the PIN number you have and hit verify. And then moving forward, that verified phone number is where you would receive your temporary PIN numbers for your multi-factor authentication. So you would need to punch that PIN number in whenever uh, Coinbase asks you to provide it to log in or access your funds. Um, and you can also set how secure you want your multi-factor authentication to be so you know here it says require verification code to send um, any amount of digital currency so you it would require that you you have to provide that temporary um, code to coinbase every time you want to do a transaction um, you can also say you want to only have it apply if you're doing you know more than a certain amount of let's say bitcoin or ethereum per day or you could just do never which is defeats the purpose of multi-factor authentication in my opinion so that's how you set it up pretty straightforward if you have any questions around this concept or its applications please use the comment section thanks for your time and have a good day bye